So I've really been enjoying this Epoca P pen. It's a, uh, a cool plastic pen with really great aesthetics. Comes in a bunch of different colors. It is uh, a 1960s design from, again, from this company called Epoca. Although I've also heard it called the Bolograth pen. Uh, it's a Swedish design, I believe. And uh, anyway, it's a great pen. Has a really cool click action and it uh, handles quite nicely. The biggest downside with it is that it has a kind of what I would call a subpar cartridge. It is this Bolograph cartridge, uh, medium size, made in Sweden, and it's fine. It's like not great, but I really like the pen and uh, I'd like it to write a little bit more nicely. So this is the E. Paca, and I believe it's called the P. Ball point with the ball O graph. The problem with the ball O graph is that it might look like a Parker style refill, but it's not a true Parker style refill. And uh, I happen to have one of those for reference right here. Uh, we can see they are they vary slightly from one another. So first off, and uh, this is a, uh, a Schmidt Easy Flow 9000, which is kind of like a best in class of the Parker refills. So as far as height goes, pretty similar. Uh, you know, maybe an uh, eighth of an inch off. The bottom ends, or the you know the business end, is uh, actually fairly similar pretty close to identical with the contouring, which is important for the, uh, make sure the spring works on both of them. And then the biggest change is that uh, this one has this uh, pattern that comes from how the click mechanism interacts. And then it turns out that the Bolograph has a hollow end to it and the Parker style does not, like it's hollow, but not, the aperture isn't quite as large. And that ends up being really important because if you try to use the Parker style, it's way too long. I would expect it to be a little bit too long. Obviously, it's not clickable, right? I would expect it to be a little bit too long because the Parker is a slight bit taller than the ball graph, but it actually ends up sticking out way more than that, which means the Parker pen, uh, Parker style cartridge, in this case the Schmidt, is not inserting as much as it should. Uh, I looked at some diagrams from the uh, Epoca and then I took it apart, and it turns out that it has a little piece that sticks out here. That piece of plastic sticks out of the clicking mechanism and it goes into here, to that hole, and it just stabilizes the whole setup. So, uh, what I did was I came up with a custom cartridge. That's a, this right here. So this is a Schmidt Easy Flow cartridge that I obviously chopped down, but the chopping down, which is the easy part because this is just a piece of plastic. You can get through that with any kitchen knife or anything like that. But the hard part is that it's not enough that it is shorter. You also wanna carve out that hole a little bit doesn't have to be perfect, but you need to get it uh, just enough that the piece that sticks out of here, which is about a uh, maybe a 16th of an inch with a rounded tip, will fit into that hole there in a stable setup. In this case, this is pretty easy to do. Chop it, leave a little bit there. You're not cutting any metal, so you're not puncturing the cartridge and then carve out a little bit. So you have essentially the tip looks like this, and now you see it's a stable fit for the click action. Put it in, and nice fit there. The click, just like it was. Pen tip sticks out, sticks out a little bit less than it did, a few millimeters, which I actually prefer. This way I could have left it a little bit longer. And now we have the 
it's a new cartridge. So it's still breaking in. Flow nine one. Might be, uh, yeah, I think you can tell the difference there. The uh, bolograph is kind of light. You can see it's sort of just like, kind of tears a little bit, not quite perfect. This Schmidt in bold is a much heavier flow uh, ballpoint, much smoother, much bolder. Uh, you see my handwriting is still awful, but it definitely writes more smoothly and it's putting a lot more ink down on the page. So anyway, that is how you upgrade your Bolograph cartridge in your Epaca P ballpoint pen. The uh, company is called Ballograph. The Epaca P is the pen, just to be clear on that. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions or comments.